with meal three. This time we're going to do it together to try to speed things up. Uh, let's start chopping it up. Okay, let's do this. The zucchini are to be boats, so I'm going to cut them in half and then scoop the guts out. Two cloves of garlic. Everything is two cloves of garlic. more difficult than I thought it was going to be. You know, I, I really, I was having a dream about that last night, and it just, I thought it'd be more like a pumpkin. You were dreaming about gutting the zucchini? I was worried about, yeah, no, I literally was, because I was... <laughs> the things we stress about. <laughs> but, oh, you know what would be good? My teaspoon, these metal ones. Yes. Um, uh, uh, there we go. Brilliant. Yeah, buddy, that works awesome. Pro tip, use a teaspoon. <laughs> This is the cutest little crushed red pepper flakes. There's like 14 crushed red pepper flakes in here. Uh, crumble the goat cheese, that's you. Cut the zucchinis in half like lies using a spoon. Cut out the interior, the interior? All right, fine. Not the meat, the interior. Not the meat, the interior of each piece. Small dice the interiors. You got that? It's not small diced it. <laughs> this is what is going on here. By the way, pick the basil leaves off the stem, discard the stems. I don't know why you need to be told that, but that's okay. If, if you need to be told to discard the stems of basil, you need to be told how much salt to put in salted. Okay, so this is, I feel, I feel like this is going faster. I feel at least double. You know, it does speed. help to have both of us working on it together. This is fun. I don't know that we never cook together. It's because you're a much better cook than I am. That's you're an excellent though. cook. You do not give yourself enough credit. No, I'm just, I can follow the directions and that's about it. Okay. See, I can't. So... <laughs> Just pro tip, you need a snack while you're cooking. Because it takes like an hour and a half, they need to provide like a little snack. They should. Like Throw in some snack. cheese and salami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little, yeah. little something. So, you know, if you're starving while you make this, you can actually have a small bite to eat. Or just a beer. Alright, and we're back. So, uh, we have the, uh, the ratatouille is um, all thrown in. We got most of it in there. We're doing that for about 8 to 10 minutes. And uh, we've got the quinoa cooking, and we've got the... Um, the boats um, in the uh, in the oven, so we kind of got the, the whole thing going on here. How's that looking? Looks about done. How much time is left on it? Um, minute and a half. Minute and a half. All right, pull it. Okay, so um, and it uh, says to uh, return it to the pot. Yeah. So add the red wine vinegar and half the basil. Uh, remove from heat and set aside. Okay. So and then after that, we just wait until the zucchini is done. All right. So you want to pull the zucchini? Perfect timing. So fill each one of the roasted zucchini boats with as much of the ratatouille as possible. Oh. Save any remaining filling to serve on the side. So I'm just over here filling the zucchini boats with the ratatouille. Yep. I don't know how to do this. It's really effing hot. And it does say to serve the remaining stuff on the side, so I don't feel quite so bad that I'm not filling them, overfilling them with this stuff, you know, not using all of it. Okay, and then what do I do? I top them with breadcrumbs and goat cheese. And I think it just crumbled the goat cheese, which to me just means cut it up as much as possible. Cutting directly towards my hands is great. Still no idea if I'm doing this correctly, but it does seem to be crumbling a little bit, so I'm happy about that. I gotta get this done before she comes back and sees that I'm uh, massacring the cheese crumbling operation. Okay, so we have these all prepared, and yeah, it's about what it looks like on the picture. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, we got the panko breadcrumbs, we got the goat cheese, bake for 8 to 10 minutes or until cheese is lightly browned and the breadcrumbs are toasted. Alright. And I think that is it. That is it. So uh, as soon as this is done uh, cooking, we're just going to plate it and give it a shot. Okay, so everything looks done. We're just going to go ahead and plate it now. We've uh, pulled the zucchini. Okay. This is the deliciousness that we have. It actually does look, it does look pretty good. It looks appetizing. So it's fine. I'm not usually a huge fan of quinoa, but um, it's fine. It doesn't actually taste like much. You wouldn't let me add any proper seasoning to it. Because, this because is... that would have been messing with the original recipe. That's right. And we were supposed to be doing this as is. It needs something. It needs a lot of something. It's, it's very, really bland. It's really bland. You no, know, I did actually mix it with a little bit of the ratatouille. 
Okay. And that makes it a little bit better. So, all right, I've, I've watched the movie Ratatouille, so this better be mine. <laughs> it's my only reference to Ratatouille. But it's like a big mouthful of vegetables. No, I mean, it's fine. Like I said, I mean, I think I, I'm not, I'm not going to really give points to this one because I'm not a big fan of vegetable-only meals anyway. For a bunch of vegetables, it tastes fine. I think it's good. I like it. I think it's great. You know, yeah. I like vegetables. As a, as a, as a, uh, a former reformed vegetarian. Reformed as vegetarian. A reformed vegetarian you I think it's really good. Okay, um, I do think that the goat cheese makes it. Yeah, it needs, so, it needs about, for me, oh, you know what, I miss the goat cheese. I'm going to add that. Oh, try it with the goat cheese. Right, and and as far cheese. as the quinoa is concerned, I would have cooked it in chicken stock or vegetable stock or something to give it a little more added flavor. I would have cooked it with a steak. <laughs> and then I would have just eaten the steak. <laughs> Discard quinoa. Discard quinoa. The quinoa would have been cooked next to it, but eventually it would have Because, you know, I like the basil and the tomatoes. Ooh, like... More goat cheese or feta or something in the quinoa would be super duper yummy. Um, but yeah, like I said, I would have cooked it in some sort of stock to give it more flavor. Hi, baby, you want to try this? Come here, look, mommy likes it. Run. Just mm. run. Don't do that. What do you think? Good? It's good? It's not my child. Kid approved. Send him back. You want more? No. No. I think the ratatouille is too spicy for him. We put a lot of red pepper flakes in it. I think that's what saved it. For us, yeah, but Jensen can't eat it. We're gonna have to cook some fish sticks now or something. Ooh, can I fish sticks? <sighs> so overall, I like the um, the varieties, and it is kind of a fun experience. No, it got Colin and I to cook together. That's something. I think that a lot Jeez. of the meals need yeah. to be doctored to your own specific Which taste for what you like. What Our asking? neighbor is the one who sent this to us. Mm -hmm. And he loves it. He's been using this for months, and he's always posting pictures, and he's actually sent over some, some of his leftovers, like he'll have some leftover salad or something. Which would be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, he loves it. So it's definitely, you know, some people love it. I don't know that it's for us. It's time-consuming, and it's a little bland for my taste, because this is a lot of work, so you have to want to cook. Yeah, you have to want to cook. And you, you have to want to get... And not just cook, but make a meal and spend time in the kitchen. And the directions are not particularly... Um, what's that word? Good. <laughs> they're not that good. No, like they say to salt the water, but they're not specific. That's what I, I was meaning to say. You know, so... Um, and they do... I mean, they're not t terrible because they have pictures and everything. And, you know, they tell you step by step, but they assume that you already know how to do certain tasks. So this is not for the novice. All right, so that's our two cents. I'm going to go eat before my food gets totally cold. And I'm going to go make some fish sticks. All right, thanks. <laughs> Bye.